guys what's going on this is boss deck here and welcome to another commentary video and in this commentary i will be talking about why you should root your android device and what is rooting and advantages and disadvantages of rooting so i saw many people on youtube and different forums asking what is root and why they should root your why they should root their android device and they just like are uh, scared for rooting your android device but because there are many disadvantages of rooting yeah you know there are many 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 yes so i'm just gonna focus on this topic in this video that is what is rooting why you should root advantages disadvantages and is it worth it and i'm gonna also include my thoughts about why you should root okay so let's get started with the topic so the first point we were focusing on is what is rooting so rooting is basically what you know like it can when you root your android device it will give you an administrator status for your android device let's take an example of clash of clans when you play clash of clans you go into a clan there are a set of positions you can get into like you are a member then you are elder then you're co-leader and leader let's eliminate co-leader and elder for, for this example okay and you are left with the leader and the member so when you buy an android device you are just like a member you don't have any rights to do stuff you ha just have a right to war like in coc it's just like war and you can you can just donate stuff and you are just racing for a better future of yourself in the clan and a leader is who is the best in the clan he can he is the controller of the clan and you are just like a member at the start I just, as i said before you are just like a member at the start when you buy a phone a new you just like a new bot phone you are just like that when you buy a new phone it's you are just like a member and when you root your android device you are a leader you have all the rights you have all the rights to do something like a messing out with your settings routing can also give you a status of a high-end super user which can make mess up with the settings and do changes tweak your settings you can just like you know tweak your settings and much much more stuff and other terms for routing are that uh, like jailbreak on iOS so the second point we are focusing on is why you should root your Android device so routing can open a numerous customization opportunity for your android device like what i mean by customization opportunity is that you will get a set of different customization options like you can install a custom rom on your android device which can help you a lot like you can upgrade to a better android version than you were before like if you're on if you're on 4.1.2 and you want to get to 4.4 or 5.0 if it's available for your device custom rom and then you can do it Cust custom roms are best and i have tried them out but you know they are they are they have some a certain kind of cons which you don't want in your android device and uh, the second customization option is that you can have soft keys in your android device like you know soft keys what are soft keys it's on screen keys in your device and if you have like a device with physical keys then you can have a virtual keys on your android device if you have root you can find many apps for this customization option on android play store and so yeah and the next point i'm focusing on is advantages of rooting and there are many 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 advantages of rooting i can't ma just mix them up in one video like there are many options like you can install custom rom as i said before and you can increase your ram by having a set of like a virtual ram in your device and just giving away a certain part of your sd card to your device to use it as a ram and you can download apps for free you can uh, you can mod your apps on your games easily with rooting you know and you can do much much more stuff with rooting yeah i will just link that link down all the different development sites you can check out of what is advantages of rooting what you can do with rooting and uh, much much more stuff and yes next topic is disadvantages uh this is the most wanted topic you want to hear i i think so yes because disadvantages are for everything in the world yes and yes there are many disadvantages of rooting on android like you can break your device and make it not 
boot once you are installing like a custom ROM or while you're rooting. This happens only when you are like when you did something like wrong while uh, doing something process like Android routing or deleting if you delete a file system file or if you are installing a custom ROM then there are chances that you will break your device and there are two kind of breaks that is like a soft break and a hard break soft break can be recovered easily by just like you know installing another firmware of your device you can just search on on google about your device name and then firmware and you can just flash it using a uh, computer like if you have a Samsung device you can use Odin and if you have something like other device you can use other stuffs heartbreak is like you have to go to a shop and repair it, repair it because it's a very heartbreak and there are certain chances like your device will never boot up when you are on a heartbreak and that's what it is and the second is advantage is that you will have a certain kind of like a battery problem when you root your Android device it is most common I have seen it on my Android tablet that there is certain kind of a battery problem my tablet has a 4000 mAh battery and it is like just discharging in just like two hours of usage yeah and it, it before rooting you it used to work like six hours so that's a great amount of discharging and it's a big disadvantages of routing yep so the next point we are focusing on is that is it worth it is routing worth it you know I just forgot it to say before that routing can void your warranty which will affect like you know if you go if something happens to a device and you go to your service center to repair it then you will not get the warranty back you will not they will not repair the device for free which is like a one year period when well, since you buy the mobile phone and then until the next year that is when the day last year you bought your mobile phone and it will like you know if your device happen if something happens to your device and you take it to the service center they will not repair it and that's like uh and that they do it for free you know as it's mentioned in the warranty and they will not repair it for free and you have to get your mobile phone and do it like you have to pay money and then you have your more, more stuff but people say that this is the most biggest disadvantages and people are scared about it but you know you can unroot your device if it's safe enough in the position like it's not break up you can unroot your device and and then bring it to the service center they will just and your warranty is back so yes uh, routing can be worth it uh, and it is super awesome if you root your Android device as I have experienced routing is very uh, cool and it's very good enough so try routing your android device i will make a video in the next coming week on how to root your android device with computer because computer is the safest way if you have like a mobile or uh, if you don't have computer then you know you can search other videos on youtube on how to root android device with a computer and you can just root it and yeah you can enjoy much much more stuff and be sure to check out google and go check out xda forums xda developer forums and uh, they are awesome they are good enough if you're beginners at routing and they can explain you much much more stuff about routing and android development so that's it with the topic and i will just wrap this up quickly so guys thanks for watching be sure to leave a like down below if you want me to continue with this commentaries and stuff and be sure to hit that huge subscribe button to stay updated whenever i upload a video so bye bye and i will see you next time